Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off again in Epsom by the race course. Now we're looking at the guy in front of us and we're also looking at a cyclist to the right hand side that's coming down the hill. Now as you can see the ground is nice and shiny and slippery looking. Imagine being on two wheels and seeing someone that looks like they're not going to stop at a roundabout. Look mate, open your eyes, open your eyes, you'll see a cyclist to your right hand side that has priority over you. Now in this clip we're looking at the outside lane, that van in the outside lane which is to the left of us. Now it has a little look to see if it can undertake there, it has to go back and some of you will be saying what are you doing in the middle lane? Well, there's a junction there, there's a slip road coming on, and I am overtaking. You'll see when we go to the front camera, I'm about to overtake as this shitting Peugeot just goes past us. Now, the Peugeot's not going fast enough for this idiot. Even though it is overtaking, there is no restrictions in him how fast he has to overtake, but he is overtaking, and it's overtaking lane. But obviously, that idiot, look how close he is to it now. So what is he going to do? He's going to do what he tried to have a little look at back there. And he's going to undertake everything. And as I've overtaken everything on my side, I will move over the way you're supposed to. Obviously the guy in the middle lane there, he shouldn't be in the middle lane either. But the van should not be doing that. What an absolute fucking And speaking of bellends, we've got two in this clip alone. This lorry driver, way too close to that cyclist. But that ain't the worst one. You watch the way this car here does it. It does it while going through the bollards as well. See them bollards there? It overtakes there. How the hell are you going to have 1.5 meters while going through them bollards at the same time? More bellends than I can shake a stick at at the moment. We're looking at this truck in front of us. We are heading towards a bus stop with a bus in it. Now, oncoming traffic has priority over you. You can tell by the reaction here that he wasn't impressed. And how far has it got him? Same truck, a little bit further down the road, and some learner abuse. We've also got this white car here that decides to just drive down the wrong side of the road for some reason. As you can see, there's no parking space for it to get into on that side of the road, so where's it going? I do not know. But look at the truck now, overtaking there. That right-hand lane is a right-turn only lane. What an arsehole that is. Learner abuse there or what? And a knob behind me as well. So let's have a look at the knob behind me now. What an arsehole that is. Learner abuse there or what? And a knob behind me as well. Now further down the road, the same learner in front of me, and yet again I've got to have a go at a driving instructor, or it could be on test I guess, but why are you in the outside lane? Why are you not here where I am? You're not turning right, you should be over in this lane. You're not going to be faster off than anyone because you're a learner, and that's acceptable, but you should be in the left hand lane there. And why do people do this? Why is this idiot put his front wheels out into the road. It must be able to see. I mean, what is the point of that? Obviously, I'm not waiting for it. And the learner behind me doesn't wait for it and neither does anyone else. So we're looking at the van in front of us now that obviously thinks it's an HGV. It goes round the bus, so do I. And now we're both turning right. 
but because he thinks he's an HGV, he doesn't need this right hand only lane. He seems to think he needs more space than anyone else. It's not rocket science, man. Now in this clip, I'm about to enter the Mad Mile again. As some of you know that it's on this channel quite a bit. And the road that I've just come off of was a 40 mile an hour speed limit. The Mad Mile is a 60 mile an hour speed limit. So it doesn't take me very long to get to 60 mile an hour. And I'm doing it pretty much now. And you'll see someone catch me up like I'm standing still. Bear with me. Fucking hell. I'm doing the speed limit of 60. What the hell is that doing? I actually didn't see that coming. That actually made me jump. A little bit further down the road, we've got a petrol head moment for you now. And someone's got a new toy. I'm not sure if the car is the new toy or the Insta360 camera that he's videoing himself with is the new toy. There we go. See the big long pole with the camera on the top of it? I'm not quite sure that's legal. Plus, it never had a front number plate again. I don't know what it is about these cars not having front number plates. So not far from the last clip, we're driving down this road now. And it's a 30 mile an hour speed limit. We have speed bumps. We have slow signs on the ground. Quite a few slow signs on the ground. And we also have a self entitled twat behind me. That 30 miles an hour is way too slow for them. The funny thing is, I think it overtakes me pretty much as we're going over a slow sign. As a little look there, slow sign, it's just gone past, and a speed bump, and overtakes me right on the uh, slow sign. And another speed bump, and another slow sign. Mm. We've got another petrol head moment for you now, just coming up this hill. At least that one's got a front number plate. Now we're at the top of Sutton for this one. The usual suspect, the Audi. Not the Audi behind me. He's behaving. He's in the correct lane for going straight on. It's another Audi that comes right round the outside now and cut straight across everyone. Got to be an Audi, innit? It's got to be an Audi. Always an Audi. Flashing the hazards just doesn't do it. You know what you've fucking done there. There's a bright woman for you. There's a bright woman for you. Now, as you know, I see a lot of people driving with mobile phones. None worse than this one, I don't think. Um, I do actually say the magic word, which I'm going to have to uh, bleep out because YouTube doesn't like this magic word. We got this guy here that's on my side of the road on the phone. Fucking get over. Even after me using the horn on him, look where his eyes are. He just don't care. Literally doesn't care about anything other than his phone. Get leave your phone alone. 
and when we go to the rear camera, he actually stops. Fucking get over. Get leave your phone alone. <laughs> He actually stops to have a little look at his phone in the middle of the road. Eyes on the phone, driving in the middle of the road. Now in this next clip, as you can see, we've got a red light. Doesn't apply to that guy to the right hand side. They don't stop for reds. And I didn't think this car was going to stop at this red light neither. It was distracted. Can you guess by what? Didn't think you were going to stop there, girl. Oh. The phone. The fucking phone. Yes, the phone. Unfortunately, you couldn't see it, but I could. Now, in this clip, we have five Audi drivers. Yes, five Audi drivers, but they're out of their Audis. They're just walking. Just walking in the middle of the road, eh? The wrong way. Supposed to be walking facing traffic. If you're gonna walk like that. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>